state's ban on high-capacity gun magazines. On Friday, U.S. District Judge Roger Benitez declaring California's ban on magazines that hold more than 10 rounds of ammunition unconstitutional, saying it violated the Second Amendment rights of firearms owners. So here to discuss this is Michael Schwartz, Executive Director of the San Diego County Gun Owners Pack. Mike, thanks so much for being with us tonight. Good. Thanks for having me. Of course. So, Mike, first off, uh, we're learning that, of course, a San Diego district judge declaring California's sweeping ban went way too far by preventing people from using magazines for lawful purposes, including self-defense. What is your take on this? Yeah, this case started back in 2019, and this is actually the second time that Judge Benitez has, has uh, struck down this law as unconstitutional. It made its way up into the uh, appellate court and then finally the Supreme Court. Uh, said, hey, you guys need to revisit this, the Ninth Circuit Court, you need to revisit this. In light of a Supreme Court decision last year, uh, the Bruin case, um, that really shed some light and uh, um, defined how judges should rule on Second Amendment or gun cases. So uh, Judge Benitez went back, ruled again, basically put a big exclamation point on, on what he'd already ruled, and put out a 71-page decision where he talked about the fact that, hey, a magazine is a necessary part of a firearm, and therefore it is protected by the Second Amendment. It, it's, it's equal to a firearm, and firearms can't be banned. Firearms are uh, protected by the Second Amendment. So uh, he, he put this out. He, now, he did put a stay on his decision, which means it doesn't go into effect for 10 days. He's allowing the state of California to appeal. And it sounds like the attorney general, uh, Bonta, is probably going to continue uh, with their losing case. So, Mike, in a 71-page long decision, Benitez states, quote, the history and tradition of the Second Amendment clearly supports state laws against the use or misuse of firearms with unlawful intent, but not the disarmament of the law-abiding citizen, end quote. As someone that's been vocal on the Second Amendment, does this statement align with your beliefs? Yeah, very much so. In fact, those three words, uh, text, tradition, and history, uh, you're going to start to hear a lot of those three words when it comes to Second Amendment cases. The Bruin case from the Supreme Court, that was part of their decision last year where they said, hey, when you look at Second Amendment cases, when you look at firearms cases uh, and uh, and rule on them, judges, you have to look at the text, you have to look at the tradition, and you have to look at the history. And there's nothing in the Second Amendment that says that you can ban uh, uh, magazines or any crucial part of a firearm. Uh, there's no tradition of limiting law-abiding citizens from having uh, magazines um, or, or, you know, whatever capacity they like. Um, there's no tradition and there's no history. There's nothing in the history that says that this is normal. So the text, history, and tradition test um, or criteria, you're going to hear a lot about. And, and it's really opened up and re, a lot of cases that are being revisited um, that have to do with magazine bans and pistol bans and CCW bans and uh, you name it. Um, it's really, really opened up a new chapter in Second Amendment history. And I think we're finally seeing some real movement in the courts when it comes to your Second Amendment rights, which is extremely important. And on the other side of the argument, California Attorney General Rob Bonta currently enforces state's laws, has stated Californians need to be kept safe from weapons enhancements that are designed to cause mass casualties. Your thoughts on what would be helpful to bring down the amount of gun violence our nation faces today? Well, his statement's inaccurate. Uh, this is not an enhancement. These are normal parts to a, to a firearm. A magazine is not an enhancement. A normal capacity magazine is not an enhancement. It's an actual uh, cr critical part of a firearm. And of course, bad people do bad things. And we all need to uh, be aware of that and figure out ways to make sure that bad people don't do bad things. However, uh, three, three million, two to three million times per year, every year, an American uses a firearm to stop or prevent a violent crime. Um, that's that's an extremely important statistic that just doesn't get talked about nearly enough. And limiting a law-abiding citizen, a sane, trained law-abiding citizen, limiting their ability to protect themselves by by giving them unusually low 
uh, magazines um, is that doesn't help public safety in any way. And by by banning magazines, uh, you know, betting our public safety on a criminal's inability to change their magazine when they're committing a crime is is that's not safety. That's not public safety. It's not doing anything to help. I've actually seen a number of sane, trained, law abiding gun owners who are not career criminals. Uh, but get turned into felons because they had a magazine that exceeded California's limit, even though it was perfectly and totally normal in the industry and it's perfectly and totally uh, legal throughout the rest of the country. So this was really just a political thing. Uh, Rob Bonta isn't actually describing anything that's going to keep people safe. This is a political decision. Uh, it's a political agenda, and I'm glad that the courts stepped in and stopped those from uh, advancing their political agenda over the rights of, of Americans. All right, Michael Schwartz, thank you so much for being with us tonight. Thank you.